Alright, Pete Dog back here. I know you guys have been wondering, well, what have I been up to? What's going on? I got some parts in from DigiKey. I got a GK flip flop chip. It really simplifies this little circuit here. GK flip flop. And it puts out uh, two outputs. That will drive my Darlington Pair transistor. I got two of these. These are 30. These are 30 volt amp Darlington Pair transistors. Now, if you don't know what a Darlington Pair transistor is, that's a transistor. It has two transistors inside. One small transistor drives the base of the larger transistor. Therefore, it takes less voltage and current to drive the transistor into saturation, makes them more efficient. So, since I can't pull a lot of current off this little chip, Darlington Pair works wor wonderfully. Um, I have the chip here running. It's hooked up to my oscilloscope. I've got it connected to a uh, 6 volts battery pack, just as a test setup. Um, the frequency is 50% duty cycle, fixed, and my volt, my frequency is variable by the resistor there you see, uh, variable resistor, and here's the waveform. Oh. There you go now, you can see it. Um, there's my little square wave. That's actually the full frequency. What the JK flip-flop chip will do is cut that in half. There'll be one pulse, pulse, half the pulse will be on one lead, the other half will be pulse on the other lead. These two white leads. So it splits the frequency in half. One pulses and then turns off, and another one pulses and turns off. What that does is that triggers the Darlington pair on one side, and then tr triggers the second Darlington pair. And what that's going to do. I have rewrapped my toroid. A uh, couple hundred feet of wire I had to rewrap here. It's now a center tap primary. Here's my center tap. And one lead here. The Darlington pair will pulse this side. Center will be negative, outside positive. Or no, center is positive, outside is negative then the center stays positive and then it will pulse the negative on the outside. And when it does this it actually flip flops voltage across the leads and drives my toroid here. And I'm hoping to get about a hundred volts, ninety volts, something like that off my toroid after, after some pretty good current. So um, here's some of the wire that I took off. There was another primary winding on there that wasn't necessary and uh, it's pretty heavy. I mean, about half a pound of wire there that I just took off that I didn't need. So, anyway, that's what I've been up to. Uh, this fine young lady here is Kayla. She's the one that stars in my portfolio picture. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'll post again soon. Thanks.